hello everyone welcome back to my channel and welcome to something a little bit different i am so excited to film this i asked in my live stream if you wanted to see this it was a resounding yes because you guys are lovely and wonderful so it is time for my top 10 third doctor stories as per my very professional rating system um those of you that have been here from the start know that i rate every story out of 10 I keep them all in this oh and I'm gonna keep looking at the wrong bit so <laughs> sorry uh, I keep them all in this book actually looking back I think there's only ever been one story that I have thought mm, I'd probably knock that down by 0.5 of a mark but generally I go back and I completely agree with my marks which is really reassuring so let's go also let me know your top 10 so i'm going to start with the way i did this last time i will finish with my highest markings so there are two stories of pertwee's that are 10 out of 10 i'll finish with those so i'm just leading up to that the 10 out of 10s i haven't put in a specific order the nine out of 10s they're not in a particular order it's just my top 10. um i did have to choose because my lowest rating one in this top 10 is 8.5 and there were three or four that I'd rated 8.5. So from those, I had to choose my favourite to fit it into the top 10, if that makes any sense. So, number one, we are going to start with my 8.5 out of 10, Inferno. Now, what was it playing? I know for a lot of you, this is a really, really popular one. And I think for Medusa Cascade, this is one of her favourites, if not her favourite. I, this was the first story we had with Pertwee where there was an element of time travel, right? As far as I can remember. I loved this story. Seeing the Brigadier as an alternate Brigadier was incredible. What is going on? Like a parallel universe? Um, it just felt, I felt like I needed it at this point, at that point in the series, I needed this real Doctor Who element to come through. Does that make sense? So I absolutely understand why it's one of, one of the favourites. Liz is not my favourite companion. And I think maybe if it, Joe had been in it. I could have rated it higher, I don't know, but I think 8.5 is fair. And um, considering we're starting my top 10 with Inferno, I think it's gonna be a good top 10. Next, we have Carnival of Monsters with nine out of 10. <sighs> Bloody loved this one, didn't I? I did. This had everything I wanted in a story. This whole, I remember them being on the ship and thinking, hmm, something's not right here. And then they they went into this world where they were in like the innards of the, of the machine. And I think that's maybe in my top three sets of all times. I loved it. I loved all the little slides and all the steps and all the bits they had to go down. I thought that the concept was genius. Um, I think it lacked slightly with the monsters. They showed clips of the Cybermen. I would have loved for them to just brought the Cybermen in. I'm still really gutted that the third Doctor didn't meet the Cybermen. And I just think, oh, can you imagine if the Cybermen just appeared? Just like, even for an episode, I just think seeing them more than an image would have been, would have, would have topped it off for me. But I think Carnival of Monsters all round is just a really wonderful, wonderful story next we have the demons this is where i absolutely fell in love with benton like we all saw his skills his ability to defend and protect i just i don't know why 
I didn't expect the master to be involved. At that point, maybe I should have done, but I didn't know how often the master was going to be used with in that series. So I just remember him like rocking up as the priest, like, oh yeah, of course it's the master. Duh. I think this is a really strong story. I really want to visit the village um, that it was filmed in. I'm pretty sure there's like events and stuff that happened there. I really loved the ending with the whole, what they called, Morris dancers. Um, and like the brigadier saying he'd rather be at the pub. De the demons, I think, had some solid one-liners from the brigadier and the third doctor. Joe was great in it. Benton was lovely. Mike was lovely. Bessie was there. I mean, it was just an all round, really, really wonderful story. We had the explosion. We had the weird looking creature that you could quite clearly see was just a man in a costume. But again, that makes me love it more because it's just, I just, it just adds something to me when it's just, it's classic who, and I don't, I don't expect it to be perfect. I, I, I actually, think with regards to effects, special effects, I prefer classic Who because I think sometimes in New Who it looks um it it looks too CGI, does that make sense? It looks too movie like. I'd I'd rather have a man running around in a costume because it's just I think it's just better quality viewing. So um yeah, that's the demons. Next we have the Sea Devils also at a nine out of ten. I love this story. Can we all just talk about the bloody hovercraft chase scene between the master and the doctor? I mean, uh, the sea devils eye creature that I hope we see again. I think we should see them again because I think the way it was ended, I know that it was essentially that they were killed off, but uh, as far as I was aware, they could be sea devils in many other parts of the sea so I would really 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 like to see the sea devils again I'd love to see them in New Who there are so many monsters that could be used in New Who that I feel like they're they're not taking advantage of that <clears throat> hashtag bring back the sensor rights just saying um the sea devils is one of them I mean there's 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 loads but I'd love to see the Sea Devils again. The whole bit with the master, with the rippy off face thing, again, it's just a classic, classic moment. And you could, you can see that John was in his element. I know he was in the Navy. I know he's confident on the sea. And um, I, I think it showed. I really think it showed. Right, number five, the mind of evil. Oh, it's good. It's really good. I actually looked back at my uh, reaction for this one. And at the beginning, I say a lot of you have said this isn't your favourite, but I've had a lot of you say that it's completely underrated. And I don't understand how you could not like it. I mean, we're in a prison. The master's there. There's fight scenes. I remember when we saw the device for the first time. And we heard the dialects and we saw the fire and, you know, people were being killed by their worst fears. That kind of beginning to a, to a story is brilliant because you don't know what to expect. It could go down any path and that's what I really liked. I thought the dialects might have appeared. They didn't, but actually they didn't need to. Um, Looking back, I maybe could have rated this a little bit higher and I don't know why I went with nine. Um, I don't think it was a long one either. We also had the Brigadier pretending to be a, a delivery man, which was just, again, the, the Brigadier could make one appearance in every story and steal the show. Whether that's a mix of the writing or whether that's a mix of the actor, probably a bit of both, but Oh God, I love the Brigadier. I, I'm, I'm, it's, it's, it's not been long since I've finished with the Third Doctor. That made it sound like I've ended things with him. And I've only seen part one of Robot. 
and a lot of people are telling me that I'm going into this golden age with the fourth doctor but the third doctor era for me has a very very special place in my heart and actually even looking at the ratings that I've given for these episodes you can see that because there are so many nine out of tens there are so many I think my lowest one was five out of ten for the mutants but we <laughs> that's not the greatest but apart from that we're looking at solid like eight eight out of ten and above so the way I feel at the moment is my my golden era would be Pertwee's era. Number six, the Invasion of the Dinosaurs. Oh, this for me is an absolute classic. Like, oh, okay, so I know it looks fake and I know some of it looks silly, but I love that so much. And the twist with Mike is the best twist I've had in Classic Who so far. I mean, I almost fell off my bed. I was so shocked. And I I didn't realise how invested I was in Mike. I was so annoyed at him. I was mortified. Oh, Invasion of the Dinosaurs. What did I give it? Nine out of ten. Mm, yeah, that's interesting. Um. And then we had the space element, although they weren't really in space, but there was still that space-esque feeling. Them figuring out that they weren't in space was like another twist. And I just, again, I just didn't expect to see dinosaurs. Like dinosaurs. I know we've had dinosaurs in New Who. I just did not expect to see them in Classic Who. And oh, just a I'd happily watch that again and again. I really, really would. Numero seven, Frontier in Space. Hell yes. Um, so sad that this was the master's, well, I say the master, Roger Delgado's last story with us. When I heard the story of like how he died, I mean, it's, it's just heartbreaking. what an incredible last story i love frontier in space i really loved frontier in space ogrons yes and then the bloody daleks appear oh i like that shot now here you are at last eh <laughs> surrender or you'll be shot down but not unaccompanied i brought some old friends along to meet you There's nothing I love more and I think the, be the best reactions for me, and this is why I'm so firm on not having spoilers, is because I had no idea the Daleks were going to appear and the shot in which they appeared coming up next to the Master was just incredible. And um, yeah, I think I maybe didn't give this a high mark because it was, I want to say it was a little bit longer. Was it six parts? I could have just made that up. I think it was a little bit longer. Um, seeing the Doctor go into this, that space prison and just having his attitude come out. Again, any story, I mean, there's a lot of stories here which have the Master in and, and the Third Doctor. They're just absolute genius together. And although, you know, I have a really, really, really big place in my heart for the master in Yoohoo and Missy. Roger Delgado I, is, is the original and he, he was incredible. Right, number eight, my only 9.5, Day of the Daleks. I think this is the highest score I've given for a Dalek story ever. Hang on a second. Yeah. Oh my gosh, that's crazy. Day of the Daleks is the highest one I've given. Um, 
it, the reason it got so high, the reason the reason it scored so highly for me. Number one, my reaction to first seeing the Ogrons, I think is one of my personal favourite reactions. And then just seeing the Daleks appear, I mean, oh. You know, there's a part of me that thinks that I will just avoid titles going forward because just the shock was, ah, uh, brilliant. And we, we hadn't had the Daleks in what? years and years so again i don't like the daleks being used too often but every once in a while i think they are perfect and day of the daleks for me was the perfect example of how to do a dalek story without overdoing it without it just becoming too much so yes absolutely my favorite dalek story of classic food so far we're on to our 10 out of 10s I think you guys are going to know what's next. Um, at number nine, the three doctors. I actually got a comment on my reaction to that today saying, why were you so shocked that the second doctor appeared when the title is the three doctors? And I did a very sarcastic comment back saying, well, in my reaction, as you can see, I don't look at the title. You know when someone comments something and I'm thinking, well, you haven't watched my reaction properly then, because at the beginning I say I'm not looking at the title and you can see me covering my eyes, not looking at the title. So that was why I was shocked when the second doctor appeared, honey. Um, oh, it's the three doctors. I really don't, I don't, I, I just don't, feel like I, I need to really explain it. I understand for some of you this isn't a perfect story and I'm not saying that the the storyline is perfect. I really wasn't looking too deeply into that. We had the three doctors, we had Omega who didn't have a head, we had the Brigadier, we had Benton. Like, <sighs> I just, with the recorder, the, 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 I, I just, oh, it's the three doctors. Yes. Seems strangely familiar. Is it yours, Joe? The flute? No. Well, properly speaking, it's a recorder. Thank you. I was wondering where that had got to. Yes, it's mine. You haven't been trying to play this, have you? Oh. I can see you've been doing the TARDIS up a bit. Hmm. I don't like it. I just don't think it needs any explanation. I am so glad they did that. Doctor Who is on a scale now where you can't really, you couldn't do it, it would be impossible. Just the, seeing the second and third Doctor bounce off each other and seeing their different styles and um, actually seeing visually two Doctors next to each other the same we had with 10 and 11 how they are the same person but a different person was just great and um oh it dug up some emotions for the second doctor let me tell you i had just moved on from the second doctor and here he goes waltzing back in oh that hit me in the heartstrings that did right last but not no last but by no means least, hmm, guess. It's my last 10 out of 10, Terror of the Autons. I think this is one of my favourite episodes, stories of Classic Who so far. Let me tell you, what do I want from a Doctor Who episode? Story, sorry. I want something, I'm not saying it has to be a thriller, and I'm not saying it has to be a horror, but I want something that shocks me, right? Number one, I had no idea that Autons appeared before New Who, again, which is why I'm so strict about spoilers, because I just never know who's going to crop up, and I love that, and I feel so grateful that I'm going into Classic Who completely blind. 
I will never look at daffodils the same. I have not seen a daffodil since, nor do I intend on approaching a daffodil. But the bloody things in the costumes selling the daffodils. I've got a thing anyway about um, people in costumes, like big mascot costumes, freak me out. And I don't know where that comes from. That is literally my worst nightmare. Oh la la. Guys, I've honestly got a thing about people dressing. Just genius. And, uh, well, obviously, we had the first appearance from the master, which... I remember getting a couple of comments like, why do you not believe it's the master now? Because there had been so many people before that that I suspected were the master. So for then the master to appear, not, not fully knowing he was in Classic Who, I was like, no. I remember just thinking, no, it can't be. Wait, it is? Whoa. You know, Terror of the Autons for me, all round, absolutely incredible story. First seeing the master with the with the mask thing on as well was so eerie. Eerie, is, no, it wasn't eerie, it was like creepy. Yeah, that's what it was, creepy, and I like creepy stuff. You know, I, I want to, I always hear stories of when people were younger and, you know, my mum used to say that she watched Doctor Who from behind the sofa. And I, I think in New Who we've lost that slightly. Um, and I, I think it should be brought back. We should be scaring children. And adults. <laughs> well, there's my top ten. Uh, I hope you approve. I think you will. I mean, there are obviously worthy mentions that just didn't make it. My eight out of tens included Spearhead from Space, um, 8.5 Claws of Axos, Colony in Space, eight out of 10, uh, Curse of Peladon, eight out of 10, Planet of the Daleks, eight out of 10. You know, I had to, Death to the Daleks, 8.5 out of 10. Planet of the Spiders, which I gave 8 out of 10. You know, I had... Pertwee's run was strong. The strongest run for me so far. Um, although the second Doctor is my favourite, I think that's more because of him and his companions, whereas I think the third Doctor just had some unbelievable stories. And... Um, I'm excited to see what the fourth Doctor brings, but just baby steps. So thank you so much for watching. I really hope you enjoyed and I will be back soon. Uh, and I may be doing one of these for the second and the first Doctor. Who knows? Oh, I could do it for New Who as well. Interesting. Interesting. Take care, stay safe, and I will be back very soon. Bye.